This is Patty from Live on Cape Ann, and I'm here with Melody Phaneuf, who is kind enough to show me one of the really cool things that she does when she paints. I was admiring her paintings, and so she said she would explain to us how we do it. Take her away, Mel. Okay. Well, um, expanding on the idea that came up that someone mentioned that the paintings look like pastel. So I was trying to describe what scumbling is which is not a technique like pastel, but it has a similar effect. Has this, here's a mass of color. The way you work with pastel, you know, you keep layering the color so that some of it mixes, some of it stays, it, and you get different kinds of effects. The comment that Patrick made was he liked the way the snow paintings looked like pastel. I'm thinking that he meant this kind of feeling with the layering of paint. So what I have here is just um, a bunch of paint that's kind of layered. And as you can see, there's a texture built up, which is really good for the scumbling technique. So when there's an irregular surface and you use very dry paint and just kind of drag it across the surface, it's kind of this random hit or miss thing that happens so that you're seeing like a little veil almost. So it changes the color without obliterating it. It's particularly good for snow paintings when you, this could easily be grass or, or you know, piles of snow that are built up. So you can see how, how maybe somebody could consider this to be a similar effect as this kind of pastel layering. Now this can be done as boldly or as delicately as, as the artist chooses. So here's the same scumbling thing very gently on, on peaches so that it gives the effect of the fuzz of peaches. On the snow paintings it's much bolder and chunkier. Hey Mel, thank you. That You're was welcome. cool.